What is the enigmatic object that struck the moon? An amateur astronomer captured what looks to be a meteor strike on the surface of the moon on February 23rd of this year, which is thought to have unleashed energy equal to 1,000 tons of TNT. But what specifically hit the moon, and why is this causing scientists such concern? Let's investigate. An amateur astronomer named Daichi Fuji, a curator at the Hiratsuka City Museum in Japan, captured the impact on February 23rd. If anyone else had been taking pictures of the moon at that precise moment, they would have also captured the impact because it was so bright. While not the only impact visible on the moon, this one is among the brightest, indicating that the object that collided with our satellite was substantial. Since a meteorite large enough to cause that flash would have left a sizable crater on the moon's surface, this is a significant advancement in research on meteorite impacts on the moon. This bothers NASA scientists a lot since regular collisions of this nature could jeopardize upcoming lunar missions, particularly the Artemis II mission, which intends to land the next astronauts on the moon. Is there any chance that some astronauts would perish as a result of a micrometeorite strike similar to the one seen in the image from February 23rd? We are aware that the Earth receives 33 tons or more of micrometeoroids on a daily basis, the most of which burn up in the upper atmosphere. On the Moon, however, there is no atmosphere, making it easier for meteorites to reach the surface. Lunar Micrometeorites NASA has recently conducted a number of measurements of the darkest region of the Moon to ascertain how frequently they take place and how dangerous this could be for an astronaut due to the effect of these micrometeorites. Two major projects attempted to make a scientific determination of the less significant affects. The first is the Neliota project, which was started by the European Space Agency, ESA, and intends to monitor lunar impact flashes in order to ascertain the distribution and frequency of small near-Earth objects, NEO. With the help of the Cryonary 1.2M telescope, which is situated in Greece's northern Peloponnese, the Neliota project has created an operational system that started watching the moon for faint NEO impacts in early 2017. The Neliota campaign's initial phase came to an end in January 2021. And during that time, as you can see above, he was able to photograph a significant number of hits on the lunar surface. Both projects were rather successful, and NASA also initiated its Lunar Meteorite Impact Observation Program, which monitored the lunar surface and attempted to discover numerous impacts. Interestingly, it was found that the Moon experiences an average of 170 meteorite impacts per day, which was a lot higher than we had anticipated. This resulted in an average of 8 impacts per hour, which produced some sort of flash on the surface. All of these rocks are believed to be at least as big as ping pong balls in size, despite the fact that the majority are little and difficult to see. Additionally, they travel at speeds of more than 20 kilometers per second, which means that the majority of them cause a minor explosion that is comparable to 3 to 10 kilograms of dynamite. The rock sighted on February 23rd, however, was far larger it measured at least 2 meters across and statistically appeared to happen at least every 4 years. An explosion like this one would require around 1,000 tons of TNT to produce. Risk of meteor strikes moon craters are one of the most obvious results of meteorite strikes. These are circular depressions on the surface of the moon that range in size from a few meters to several kilometers. When a meteorite strikes the lunar surface quickly and gouges a hole in the rock, a crater is created. The moon is affected by meteorite strikes in many ways than just creating craters. They can emit gases and particles that scientists can analyses, and they can cause changes in the lunar surface's composition. For instance, meteorite strikes can cause the moon to release vapors and gases. By using telescopes and spacecraft to detect these gases and vapors, scientists are able to learn more about the moon's origin and composition. Materials that are deposited on the lunar surface can potentially result from meteor strikes. 
The composition and evolution of the moon can be better understood by scientific research of these minerals. Impacts from meteorites may also be a major cause of change on the lunar surface. Scientists may investigate the different shapes and textures that craters and their surroundings take on as a result of the solar wind, radiation, and thermal changes. All of this emphasizes how crucial it is to look into lunar meteorite collisions. It not only helps us comprehend the makeup and evolution of our natural satellite, but also teaches us important lessons about the development and past of the solar system. But they also pose a serious threat to the continuation of manned space trips to the moon, which is of great worry to scientists. Man-made lunar missions future is at jeopardy. Spacecraft sent to the moon and equipment used to explore the lunar surface may sustain damage from impacts. Critical systems of a spaceship, such as the navigation and life support systems, can be impacted by even slight impacts. Keep in mind that the moon lacks a thick atmosphere to shield it from meteorites, making collisions more frequent and hazardous. An explosion brought on by even a minor meteorite impacting the lunar surface has the potential to threaten people or lunar infrastructure. As a result, precautions must be made to reduce the possibility of meteorite impact. Tracking and keeping an eye on meteorites when they get close to the moon is one way to achieve this. Technologies could be created to redirect meteors that provide a serious threat. Future lunar bases would require sufficient safeguards to lessen the chance of meteorite impact. The development of technologies to detect and deflect meteorites before they strike the moon or the construction of impact-resistant shelters are also possible. Meteorite strikes on the moon can also change its surface and have an impact on upcoming missions. A spacecraft's ability to safely land can be compromised by the craters and debris that impacts can produce. They may also change the geography of the moon, making some regions more difficult to explore. Defense techniques scientists have proposed several theories to protect against meteorite impacts on the moon, with the two that are currently considered as being the most viable being. 1. Build impact-resistant structures One of the most crucial methods for shielding astronauts and moon infrastructure from micrometeorite hits is this one. Because the moon lacks a considerable atmosphere, items that collide with its surface do not slow down and vaporize like they do on Earth. As a result, lunar micrometeorite impacts may be more harmful and destructive than those on Earth. Impact-resistant structures can be built underground or in the form of amazing domes. A robust enough underground structure can be created to resist a micrometeorite hit and reduce the amount of debris produced in the event of subsurface constructions. The underground location also provides additional protection from sun radiation and harsh temperature changes. However, remarkable domes can be built with impact-resistant components and shielding walls that absorb impact energy and lessen the amount of debris produced. These domes can be used to store critical supplies and equipment as well as to shield astronauts while they are on the lunar surface. 2. Stronger clothing layers of impact-resistant materials, such Kevlar or fiberglass cloth, can be employed to line spacecraft, equipment, and tools used on the lunar surface as protective materials. Materials with self-healing capabilities are also being created, enabling them to recover from impacts. Shelters and research stations can be built on the moon using these materials. Some of these materials are made to fill in cracks and crevices that develop after an impact, reducing the possibility of the structure developing new cracks. Since it doesn't need as much infrastructure and is relatively inexpensive, the use of protective materials may be the only practical option in the near future. They are also very helpful for future human crewed lunar missions because they can shield astronauts from micrometeorite impacts while traveling to the moon or performing work there. Equipment and tools used on the lunar surface can be protected by shielding materials, which can help equipment last longer and cost less to replace. Were we secure? What is the likelihood that one of these massive meteorites will destroy a moon-built structure or base? What is the likelihood that someone may be hurt? 
Fortunately, the odds are on our side because a ping-pong-sized meteoroid can only strike the same area of the moon's surface once every 1,000 years or so, making it almost impossible to harm any structures we erect. Since they haven't been struck by a meteorite for more than 50 years, the Apollo mission's takeoff modules on the surface of the moon are still there and haven't changed. The likelihood of an astronaut being struck by one of these pebbles is therefore approximately one in a million, which is unexpectedly even less frequent than lightning on Earth. In other words, an astronaut is more likely to be struck by lightning on Earth than by a meteor on the moon. This is at least what the initial calculations indicate. However, there are still a great deal of micro-collisions and much smaller rocks that we don't fully comprehend or know very little about. But don't worry, astronauts on upcoming missions to the moon shouldn't have any problems because modern spacesuits are made to withstand these collisions. Future manned space trips to our natural satellites must successfully investigate meteorite collisions on the moon. A permanent lunar outpost is constantly threatened by micrometeorites and other space debris. However, with a deeper comprehension of meteorite impacts, we may create more potent defense mechanisms and tools to safeguard astronauts on the lunar surface. The scientific comprehension of the cosmos as well as the exploration and development of our species depend on the study of meteorite impacts on the moon. It encourages us to have great dreams and serves as a reminder that anything we put our minds to may be accomplished.